Hello, Dranicon here, with another exciting week of Fallout 4 mods. We start right off the bat with Better Glasses by Castle. Much improved, I think you'll agree. They actually look like they're made of glass now and not metal. Improves most of the glasses in the game, including the Patrolman sunglasses, the road goggles, and the gas mask. Become the most stylish Wastelander ever. Better armor mod descriptions by Takaru Minari. Fixes those vague descriptions of the vanilla armor mods. What do they even mean? Better damage? Better honor? Now you know exactly what the stats change by how much on all your armor mods. Don't be a confused idiot in the wasteland anymore with better armor mod descriptions. Weapon racks by Secret Agent 99. Got a proud selection of weapons. Want people in the wasteland to see it? This adds functional weapon racks to your settlements. Display your weapons proudly and with honor. It's got a rack for every category of weapon, from large guns to throwables, and even tools. Can you believe it? The racks are craftable in your settlement workshop under the category Furniture Miscellaneous. Hidden Keys by Lyra Vega. Sick of the keys cluttering up your inventory? I am. Now we can simply hide those keys and clean it up and make other items easy to find. Alternate Settlements by Stuck. Don't want your settlement to look like every other generic settlement that every Fallout player might have. This adds over a hundred new standalone items for your settlement. Ten new floors including brick, tile and wood. Sixteen different 80s, 70s style rugs. And seven new brick, wood and metal walls and 15 wallpapers to cover them with. That not enough? How about 25 new flags too? Easy to see glowing stuff by Herperderp2332. Are you an idiot like me and often don't see that blatant magazine and bobblehead and holotape? Well this makes them glow, so even a moron can see them. Enhanced color correction by Chaos. WWW. A quick visual enhancement that makes the game's shadows deeper and the highlights more vibrant. Not digging the washed out look of Fallout makes things a bit more colourful. Doesn't affect performance in any way for those people with a crap PC. And it's easy to install with three different shades. Robot Home Defense by the Talky Toaster. Is your settlement easily pwned by raiders? Protect it with Robot Home Defense. It allows you, the player, to spawn robot bodyguards for all your settlements. Just so it's not too easy, it requires the robotics expert perk and a bunch of materials including fusion cores. But once you've got these roboids in place, your settlements will never be in danger again. Camo Backpacks by Aldebaran90 and Vwab. I featured the backpack mod by Aldebaran in the last week's mod video. And now Voab has created 46 textures for it. Now you can have that extra storage capacity and look pretty doing it. Lots of cool designs to choose from, and all the camo backpacks give 100 extra carry weight. CBV by Caliente. It's finally arrived, the best body mod in Skyrim comes to Fallout 4. Now instead of those weird, blurry, bizarre looking feet, we've got some detailed feet and hands. Also got a body slider with tons of options to create your own preferred body type. Want some kind of giant Kim Kardashian ass? Make it so with CBBE. Insanity's Celtic Katana by Invalid Fate. Adds a cool katana that was a mod in Skyrim by Insanity Sorrow and ports it to Fallout 4 by the great Invalid Fate. Slice and dice your way through the wasteland itself. Want to be an ancient ninja from Japan? Want to role play as that? You can do it now. Immersive Maps by Rectal Eye. It improves the vanilla map with three different options. The three options also have three variations, big squares, full squares, and no squares. It also brightens the roads in all of them so you can see the details better. Never get lost again with immersive maps. That's it for this week. Don't forget to subscribe for more Fallout 4 vids. Links to the mods are in the description. Don't forget to watch my evil let's play with the most beautiful slut of the wasteland you ever saw. See you later.